What's up everybody? Today I'm talking about aerobic bodybuilding. That's right. How do I combine cardiovascular exercise like a treadmill, this assault runner with bodybuilding contractions? Put it all together in a single workout so you can get a great cardiovascular workout. You can get a great sweat as well as a good functional pump. Check out how we do it starting right now. In this first workout format, this first aerobic bodybuilding format, we're working in the low power to moderate aerobic power spectrum. And that means my perceived rate of exertion is relatively low on the assault runner today. What I'm gonna be doing is on a running clock, I'm going to be moving on the assault runner, running at a low to moderate pace, something very sustainable for multiple minutes at a time. And on a defined clock, I'm going to get off at regular intervals, and those are three minute intervals, and I'm gonna perform a bicep, a tricep, and an abdominal exercise back to back to back before returning to the runner. So in a sense, this is a three minute interval that has a combination of sustainable running or cardio, followed by some bodybuilding contractions in my biceps, my triceps, and my core. Now I know you can get outside and go for a run, but some people like to combine the gym movements, things that they can do with kettlebells, dumbbells, and barbells with their aerobic training. Me in particular. I love having something like the Assault Runner in my gym because it affords me this ability to have a full workout set up right next to my runner. And in this case, all I needed was a kettlebell, a mat, and a medicine ball. And if I didn't have the medicine ball, I could easily use the kettlebell for the Russian twist that I'm doing at the end in each round. So by putting in an interval on the salt runner, I can easily get off and have access to a lot of equipment, options for me to get bodybuilding contractions mixed in with my aerobic training. The three exercises that I selected for this particular aerobic bodybuilding workout were the tall kneeling kettlebell horn grip curl, the 90-90 supine kettlebell, hammer grip, tricep overhead extension, and then the medicine ball Russian twist with a slam. Why did I choose these three exercises? They complement the running very well. Why? Because as you're running and accumulating meters and minutes on the assault runner, your legs are getting somewhat fatigued. In particular, your quads, hamstrings, and glutes are getting a great training impact from the runner, as well as a cardiovascular benefit. Now, when I get off the runner, my legs are a little bit tired, and these three exercises give me an opportunity to focus on my upper body, getting an upper body pump in the arms, the biceps, the triceps, and then additionally the core. The added slam of the Russian twist does provide a little bit of an upper body implement and an upper body complement to the abdominal twisting action of the Russian twist. A quick note about grips on this workout holding the kettlebell. In the horn grip, you can see that the kettlebell is below my hands and that allows me to have a neutral grip on the kettlebell handles with my arms and it provides a really great position for curls. Now, when I flip over onto my back and I'm performing the tricep extensions, you see that I have the same orientation of my hands. However, the bell is oriented in the opposite direction. What this does is that when I perform the tricep extension, it puts the bell in a position where there's constant tension on my triceps. I never get a rest at the top of the repetition or at the bottom of the repetition. Playing around with your grips in functional bodybuilding variations is extremely useful to target different parts of the muscle that you're trying to train. That's why kettlebells are such a fantastic tool within functional bodybuilding and aerobic bodybuilding formats like this. One final note about having something like the Assault Runner in an aerobic bodybuilding format or workout like this is that because of the metrics that are on the screen in front of you, you can see wattage, you can see your pace, you can see distance covered, and you have a clock right there for you to time your intervals. This is extremely useful because when we're in the gym and we're performing aerobic bodybuilding workouts, we want to be measurable about our training. We want to have sustainability to what we're doing. If on the first round you're holding a pace and on the second round you can't match that pace, that tells you something as an athlete. As a thinking athlete, you need to tell yourself, man, I'm not choosing sustainable efforts. Aerobic bodybuilding is truly about sustainability. This workout 
is anywhere from 15 to 21 minutes long, depending on how many rounds you choose to do. Now, you're gonna need to make it 21 full minutes, and if you go too fast on the assault runner at the beginning, you're in trouble. I hope you enjoyed this format of aerobic bodybuilding. Next time you're in the gym, grab a piece of cardiovascular equipment, whether it be an assault runner, a bike, a rower, or something else. Grab a kettlebell, grab a medicine ball, and put together a 15 to 21 minute aerobic bodybuilding session. Get a great cardiovascular sweat and get a great upper body pump. Join me next time. Thanks. Uh -huh.